Hello everybody, um, this is just a quick video to show how I helped a client to automate and track his LinkedIn prospecting messages. Um, his particular frustration was with LinkedIn's inability to filter the messages in such a way that um, it takes away these notifications and just focuses on incoming and outgoing messages. Um, so I have helped the client um, work around that to some extent to track his communication on his CRM platform. Um, he uses agilecrm.com, a very powerful platform to use. I would at this point re highly recommend it. Um, yes, so the few steps that he has to do in order to get his contact information to Agile CRM and then be able to track everything are the following. Um, he downloads the LinkedIn profile information weekly and you can do this by going to your profile here, setting some privacy, click on privacy, click on how LinkedIn uses your data, click on download data and then I've recently requested an archive and if I just request archive you would need to um, enter your password and then in a few minutes or so you will receive an email with um, your exports. Within these exports you will have the following information in your export and you can choose um, different options um, what you would like to export, I usually just export the connections, the messages and the invitations, but that's the only thing um, that's important for me, the only information. Um, so you will use these. The connection um, tab are all the connections that I've accepted your invitation. The invitations are all the invitations that you've sent out. And then the messages um, are all the messages that you have sent incoming and outgoing. Let's open that for reference. So um, we wanted to track these messages in an easy way um, using these CRM platforms. So what we did is I created a Google Sheet with three tabs, Connections tab, Outgoing Messages, and Incoming Messages. The Connections tab, you will every week copy and paste the latest connected contact. Um, in this spreadsheet in the exact same order that you would um, get it in the Excel spreadsheet. So here's my invitations and let's say connections. Right. So this is how the connections will look. You will just copy and paste it into this Excel in this Google spreadsheet. You will then also copy and paste these outgoing messages, which will be can be found in a messages Excel folder. Just scroll a bit to the bottom, and you can see here yes, your incoming messages and yes, your outgoing messages. You'll obviously paste the latest outgoing messages, which is not necessarily yes, it is the those on top. And we'll paste this in the outgoing messages section. Um, and then you will paste the, in, the latest incoming messages in the incoming messages section. Now, using um, my integration platform Zapier, I then allow this information to be added to Agile CRM. A new contact will be created if it does not exist yet. If the contact does exist, um, it will then be updated. And then the latest messages will be added to the um, Agile CRM timeline of the particular contact. Um, and then although the date that it is added will differ, all the necessary information with regards to when the LinkedIn message was received and from whom to whom it was sent will then also be displayed in this message. So this then just allows the person to keep all the communication with regards to email and LinkedIn in exactly the same place because Agile CRM um, can link to your Gmail, Outlook and Office 365 um, and an SMTP server as well to uh, track all your communication. Yes, so if you're interested, 
in letting me help you set up a workflow um, to get your LinkedIn contacts to your Agile to a CRM platform. In this case, Agile CRM. Just give me a buzz, and uh, you can go to my website and then just fill in my contact form. My website is thebirdsgroup.co.za. Have a great day.